Hey guys, in this video I am going to be doing a one brand tutorial and review so if you are interested keep watching and don't forget to subscribe after the video and like the video so yeah I have all the basic makeup tools that you use in daily base like just to do your face so that kind of rhymes daily base just to do your face Okay. Anyways, so yeah, it's all in here in the Sephora bag. That's okay. See, it's in there. You can just see it. So we got eyelashes, we got eyeliner, we got mascara, concealer, foundation, translucent powder, eyeshadow, bronzer, blush, all in one, primer for the lady lid. And we got a matte lipstick. Okay. It's really soft. I think that's because it's new. So I'm gonna put this on my face. I'm gonna break out. Let's put more. I like my concealer. I feel like this isn't gonna cover anything. I already have the eyebrow kit thing that looks like this. I'm, I was gonna buy another one, but like I already have this one. So. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. brush. Small angle brush. It's cold up. You have to use a lot of this, so. Yeah. And this isn't even the color of my eyebrows, so. That's great. eyebrows ready and my god they look bushy like thick it'll look better when I add the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna use the foundation and it says acne fighting foundation flawless coverage formula that helps prevent and treats acne I'm using buff as my shade hopefully it it's buff is my shade ha <laughs> <laughs> this is how it looks like in the little bottle. Like these. Like these. Like these. Buff. <clears throat> Open this up. Oh, look in the little container. Look at it. It looks like a. What you use for the turkey, you know, when you. I'm gonna let you guys watch. So, can you all see? Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Maybe. Dab, dab, dab. Ooh. It feels nice. Feels refreshing. And my hair is like all over the place. Okay, this is not the color for my skin. <laughs> this is like a pink tone. And I'm more of a yellow. Okay, maybe I'll be okay, guys. Maybe I'll be okay. You could kind of tell that this isn't my color. This is more pinky and pale. Not that pale. I am not that pale. Now I'm going to put in the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Okay, like, I'm feeling a little bit itchy. But, like, I don't know if it's because I'm itchy or it's because of the foundation. But I am itchy. Let's hope that we don't have like a red ass mark when I take this off. I'm gonna be very bad. Feels like really greasy. Like, is it supposed to feel greasy? How rude of me. I didn't even show you how it looks like. So it looks like these. Can you see? Maybe not. Maybe you can see here better. So it looks so shiny and pretty, huh? So it's greasy as 
fudge. I think the foundation just got me tripping out <laughs> how it looks on my skin because, girl, this don't look like my skin. Now I'm going to use that eyeshadow. It looks like this. Let's open it. Ooh. Ooh, little, little thing. So it looks like these. You can just see it. And it says base on there too. So I'm looking at nothing. Did you see that? I'm like, okay, what kind of ways? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use my brush better. This is also e.l.f. So it goes with the theme here. Very nice and smooth. I can still see my veins. So yeah. After I put, what did I put on my eyes? I put the concealer. I put the, what was it, the primer and the foundation over my eyes and I could still see my veins. So what I usually do when I'm done putting on my eyeshadow, I get my concealer and clean up all the mess I did. So let's see how that works out because I see a lot of little flyaway things going on here. Let's do this. Oh, maybe I should just dust it off first. I'll give you a head start, man. I'm going to be using the liquid liner let's open it up and it it smells like paint like paint when you paint your house like when you're about to paint your house that's what it smells like why am i keep sniffing i'm scared to put this on my eye okay anyways it looks like the nyc liner brush that's how it looks like so i'm a bit terrified to put this on my eyeball So right here I have translucent powder and I'm going to use this so I could powder it up here. It comes with a little sponge so I'm going to just dab this. I think I did a good job matting it down and yeah, it's a little shiny still but that's fine. So now we have the bronzer and the blush here. So now I'm going to get some of... Wow, okay. Like, this is what I got. I just went like this. And it got a lot. So, that's good. So, this is the bronzer by itself. Now, I'm going to add the brush. The brush? The blush. And it's a little glittery. So, <laughs> So now I'm going to be using the eyelashes and this is called Dramatic Lash Kit and it comes with the glue so I'm going to use the glue. Okay so I already put in my lashes so now I'm going to take the mascara which is called Infused Mascara, Mineral Mascara, something like that. This is how it looks, like I don't know if y'all can see this but like it looks like that and I'm just going to put this on my my eyeballs. So I used the mascara already and I think it did a pretty good job because it's not all clumpy and nasty and when your eyelashes get all together that is just the worst thing ever. But I think it did a good job on blending it out with the eyelash that I used from e.l.f. So yeah I think this is also a pass. So let's get on with the lips. So the lipstick is a matte lip color sharpener included but it's I don't get it. Oh, I guess it's like this. I guess that's how it's sharpening it. I feel like I'm gonna break these. I always break these kind of lipsticks. Overall, I think that the foundation and the concealer 
they're pretty good considering that it said that it's gonna give you a natural cover which is what it did it didn't actually cover everything which is which means a natural coverage so it's not gonna cover everything but it's gonna cover some so that's what it did and if you're looking for that natural look this is the foundation and it works considering that but looking for your shade is probably gonna be hard because they only have I think four three that I saw there and I got this one and it's not my shade and I'm gonna cry a little but that's okay cuz I'm yellow toned and this is pink tone and I'm just like I'm over this oh. now the concealer said that it's gonna do a natural coverage but I thought it was gonna cover a little bit more because I when I put it on it literally came out the same as when I didn't have concealer on like I wanted some coverage okay that's why I'm getting concealer to cover them bags so look even when I go like this you guys could see it like other than that if you guys again want a natural cover which means not covering a lot but some of the flaws then you guys go right ahead and again it's hard to find your shade it's really like greasy when you put it on so I'm guessing that's not good for your acne problems that's just gonna make it worse but all makeup's gonna make your acne worse so yeah the translucent powder which is this one right here it actually did cut, like do a really good job of taking out all the shininess of my face and giving me a matte finish look. It did that, so I think this is a pass. It actually did what it was supposed to do, so a plus for you, you little bugger. Now let's talk about the blush. I actually like the blush because I don't have a shimmery blush or anything like that and the bronzer is also shimmery so that's actually really cute because I don't have anything that's shimmery because I usually try to avoid it because my face is very shiny when like later on the day it's very shiny so why would I want it but it came shimmery and I was like I don't mind it because I don't have it so I didn't have to use a lot like I just dabbed it a little bit and it was like damn so, but but wait it's kind of hard to blend it out because I was like like this for a while and it was really hard to blend it out but overall it's pretty cute now I don't know how long it's gonna last but it's pretty cute eyeshadow worked really nice it went on smoothly and no problems but like maybe I should have got some other colors because these colors together they just bleh, I don't know but overall they're really nice they are really pigmented let me do it real quick eh. see that's how they look. That's the burning one. That's the black one. Oh, and this is the base. So these are the colors that it comes in with. And I think they're really nice. Okay, so the eyeliner. It smells like paint, but it's okay because it goes on very nicely and it works. And it's actually really smooth. I actually did what it said. It's like the brush gives you like a nice wing it gives you a nice brush to work with a wing does that make any sense probably not but like yeah the eyelashes I think the eyelashes could use a little bit more of a natural kind of look but these were the dramatic ones <laughs> see but other than that they're good they do the job and the glue actually worked and I made it stay and I hope it stays throughout the day and don't fall Shoot. so yeah so I hope you guys enjoy the video and come back to watch my next video that's coming up next week and I am thinking about doing a prom look so be ready for that and see you guys next time Maybe if you come back and subscribe.